Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Instabacus. We have learned quite a lot about Abacus till now. We have learned to add, subtract using the beads on Abacus here, right? We have already learned to use big friends and small friends. And we need to know how to use the combination of these friends, right? So let's get started with today's video. We are going to check how to add when simply the use of big friends and small friends is not adequate and we need the friends of friends to help us. Alright, so let's get started. We are going to start with our first term of the day. 8 plus 6 that is, okay, let's check it out. 8 on our abacus. Now we have to add 6 to this. Can we add 6 directly? No, absolutely not. We don't have heavenly bead. We don't have an earthly bead. So we cannot add 6 directly. So what are we going to do here? Alright, big friends. So to add 6, we are going to use our big friends. Plus 6 is also equal to plus 10 minus 4, right? Alright, so let's go ahead and do plus 10 here. But can we do minus 4? No, not really, right? So we have done plus 10, but we are yet to do minus 4 to add 6. Alright, so to do minus 4 here, we need the help of our one more friend. That is a small friend. So small friend of 4 is 1. So to do minus 4 here, what are we going to do? Minus 4 is also equal to minus 5 plus 1. So, let's go ahead and do that. Minus 5 plus 1. So, that is how we have done plus 6. Right? So, plus 6 is plus 10 minus 4. Wherein minus 4 is minus 5 plus 1. Alright? So, what is our final answer? 1 earthly bead here in the tens column, 4 earthly beads here in the units column. So, totally it becomes 14. 8 plus 6 is 14. Looks complicated in the first go, but as you go ahead and practice it more, you are going to get used to, to do it. Okay, if you are not understanding and if you need any more explanation, let me know. We are going to do few more sums here. Our next uh, problem is... 7 plus 7 that is all right so let's go ahead and do okay so this is 7 on our abacus now to this we are going to add 7 again again we cannot go ahead and add 7 to this directly right so let's go ahead and take the help of our big friends so big friend of 7 is 3 so for adding 7, we are going to do something like plus 10 minus 3. Alright, so plus 10 we can do here easily. But can we do minus 3? No. Right, so for doing minus 3 again, we are going to use our small friends. So minus 3 is also equal to minus 5 plus 2. Right, so let's check it out. What's the answer? 1, 4, 14. That's correct. Alright. We are going to split this formula and I will share a table with you uh, wherein you will be able to understand this formula a little bit better. Alright, keep watching. We are going to do one more sum here. We are going to do now 5 plus 8. That is alright. So, this is 5 on our abacus. And now, we are going to add 8 to this. Alright, so of course we cannot add 8 directly. So plus 10 minus 2, we cannot do minus 2 directly. We have used our big friends here, but we need help of our one more friend for doing minus 2. How are we going to do minus 2? Minus 5 plus 3, that's correct. You are smart. So minus 5 plus 3. So that is our answer. What is it? Okay, let me know in the comments what is the answer. Shall I tell you? It's 1 in the tens place, 3 in the units place, it's 13. 
All right. Here, now I'll be sharing a table with you wherein I have split some formulas. Let's check that out. So, here we go. Can you see this formula here? So, if we are going to do plus 6 and if we are not able to add it directly, even with the use of big friends, we are going to use small friends in addition to our big friends. So, to do plus 6 here, what we need is we have to do plus 10 minus 4 and in addition to that, we have to do minus 5 plus 1 for doing minus 4. Plus 7 is plus 10 minus 3, is that correct? And for doing that, if we are unable to do minus 3 directly, what we need to do is plus 10 minus 5 plus 2. Alright? Similarly, for adding 8, if we cannot do it directly by subtracting 2 after adding 10, what we need to do is minus 5 plus 3. So, this is how we are going to use the composite formulas for addition. Let's check out how to do subtraction in our next video. Till then, keep learning and keep mastering the technique of abacus with Instabacus.